Hey guys, Chad, CK Outdoors. Um, thanks for stopping by. This is a remake video of a backpack video I did a little while uh, a little while ago about the Badlands Boss, BLS. Um, I came, came to my attention that being new at this kind of stuff, I'm not really privy to, to what I should be doing and looking at. And somebody was nice enough to put on there and say, hey, you know, I needed to just turn the phone around. And I, it actually didn't dawn on me, but yeah, duh, I just turned my phone horizontally. And I guess I'll give you guys a better view of, of the pack and everything and a better overall picture. Um, I don't know. I suppose it'll happen once I look through this and try to edit it slightly. I'll probably see for myself. But So with that being said, I thought maybe I'd show the pack off again, talk to you about the information about the pack and uh, the pros and cons to it, and just have it in a better position. So uh, without further ado, let me do a little 360 here. Again, it's called Badlands Backpack. You can go to badlandsbackpacks.com, I believe is their website. They're stationed out of uh, um, Idaho, I think it is. And uh, let me see here, I got a little note. So Utah, they're stationed out of Utah. And uh, I'll give you a little 360 here about the pack so you can get a general idea of what it looks like. Now this pack, it's called Serengeti. So it's kind of a mix between a, an olive and a coyote. I really like it. It's a pretty awesome pack. I love the look of it. You're also going to notice something unique with Badlands. And one other company does it, and it was Gregory, the Zulu series. And that's what got me steered to the, to the uh, Badlands is because I wanted to get a Gregory Zulu pack. They had the 35 and 40, 45 liters in there, and they go up to like 75 or something. But they have a unique suspension system that none of the other backpacks I was looking at has. I've had Oakley, I've had Rush, I've had Maxpedition, I've had Alice Packs, I've had a couple of off-brand like Field Lines and such. And as some folks have probably attest that know me, I'm a bit of a backpack nut. The difference is, is unlike a lot of guys that buy the backpacks to do reviews or they wear them and such, this is my first and probably only backpack review, uh, number one. Number two is... If I don't like the backpack, I get rid of it and I get something different because I'm not going to have a closet full of backpacks that I'm not going to utilize. Uh, that and if I buy a bunch of packs and I'm spending all this money and I don't use them, then my wife has to say, well, what are those all for? Can't argue with her there. So anyhow, um, so as you look in the back of this, you'll see the drywall behind me here, a little bit of the white back here. You'll see that between my body and the pack. If I can get this position just right, there, right there. See that? And that's because the pack actually doesn't sit next to you. There's actually space between you and the pack. It's this mesh system, and it's really cool. Uh, it's a wireframe breathable suspension is what they call it. So there's a wireframe system that cuts over and crosses, and it stretches out. And it's got a, 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 a breathable mesh that is what's against your back. And it's kind of similar to not just the Gregory packs, but that Zulu series, but also Alps makes a pack called the Commander, and it's a pack I have. I have the Alps Commander. It's about an 80-some liter pack, and that thing's good too. And it's got a small mesh rectangle that actually goes against your body and keeps the pack and the frame away from your body, so you've got two inches of airflow. Well, the Badlands is the same thing. So let's go through this part here. Um, there's a couple of negatives, and then everything else is pretty much good to go for positives, and I'll tell you the negatives as I'm wearing it. And that is, if you didn't see the first video I did, I make mention about this waistband. There's two things that I don't like about this waistband. Number one, if I'm going to spend 200 and some bucks for a pack, which I did, I, I bought this pack myself. It was like 260 I just go right to BadlandsBackpacks.com. You are not going to find it cheaper anywhere else as far as I found. And it took me months of research because they kind of lock their price in with everybody. Even Amazon, they'll sell them for more money, whoever's doing it. But go to Badlands and do that. But... The, for that price, I would like to have seen the, the waistband straps tighten as you go forward. Kind of like the uh, um, Kelty packs, I think it is. I think it's the Kelties and a couple others. Where instead of you know pulling this way and this way and, and pulling it out towards your body to tighten it, I'd love to have seen it come towards you. Some of you backpackers might know what I'm talking about. You know, pull towards you. That, uh, that It's awesome. I love that. The second thing is, I'm a 34-inch waist. In this pack, I got you know my jeans, I got a t-shirt on and a sweater. Okay, and I'm down here in the shop right now, but there's maybe an inch on both sides of this buckle, of the buckle that's right here. Oh yeah, don't mind this. I'm, I apparently am missing the little elastic thingy that comes on there. I never did get in touch with them, but I digress. Anyhow, um, 
it, there's almost a, uh, um, there's like an inch in between. And I'm a 34, so if you go down to a 32 inch waist, 30 inch waist, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tighten this down enough to get this to really sit well on the hips. I don't know, we'll have to see. You know, maybe you could play it by ear. Badlands has a money back guarantee. Put your backpack on, wear it around, throw it in, throw gear in it, walk around the house with it for a bit. If it doesn't seem to work, send it back to them. Uh, but anyhow, getting back to the waistband, it's real wide. This is a really wide pack here. And you so, see right here, okay, you're looking at over four inches, five inches, okay, but it's not very stiff. When you tighten it, it snugs, it hugs your hips. Really comfortable. No shifting or anything like that. Some packs, this, this waistband, it gets really stiff and it's fat, rigid, and it's not very comfortable. This is really nice. And there's molly on here, so you can hook things to it. You do your knife, your multi-tool, a little pouch for uh, your compasses and stuff like that. Heck, you could probably, you could even multi uh, uh, molly uh, loop like a holster or something like that if you want, especially if you're going hunting and you're in bear country or something. So, uh, but chest compression, as you can see here, it's got load lifters in the back, although I don't really know if they're really all that necessary, but they're nice. Uh, it just shows, you know, the, what they're trying to reach for. Um, Hypalon. This, all this black you're going to see on here, all on the pack, back there and over here, this is all Hypalon, so it's really durable. Um, these here are Grimlocks. These are mine. I put these on myself because I'm looking at trying to get a, uh, uh, oh, dang, that it, who is it? Elberstock, I think it is, makes a uh, chest pouch. And I'd like to maybe get something like that to be able to hang on here, so I have a chest pouch, like a little admin pouch or something. Either that or I might look at something like Condor. I'll have to wait and see. But, um, so anyhow, so as you see, there's plenty of multi, uh, molly on here and stuff. And, and again, the black that's back there, it's a little bit of Hypalon. Then, of course, there's some Velcro on the top there, as you'll see. Uh, there you can put a patch on there, morale patches or something like that. But, but let me get this thing off here, and we'll talk a little bit more about it, or I'll tell you a little bit about it. So first off, it is 2,200 cubic inches. Its uh, rough size is 22, uh, 22 high, 15 wide, and 12 inches deep. And uh, uh, here's that little Badlands logo. I gotta say, that's pretty cool. That, that logo's pretty darn neat. I like that. And there's your Velcro. And they're both Velcro. This is Velcro and that's Velcro right here. So um, there's Hypalon right across the strap. So you got that part going on there. Uh, Aramid threads. Don't know what an Aramid thread is, but it's supposed to be better than a regular thread. So it's an Aramid thread. And I got my little cheat sheet right here. So, um, oh, it's uh, the zippers. What I liked about the zippers too. Before I change the camera around a little bit here, I'll try to show this to you guys while you have it. Maybe I'll have to adjust the camera slightly. There you go. Um, the zippers, or the water waterproof zippers. You can see how when they zip shut, they get really closed and they tighten up really nice there. I like that. I like that a lot. But this this material here, it's uh, called uh, Keprotech. And Keprotech, it's a material made with Kevlar. So it really does well for punctures and abrasions and tearing and ripping and stuff like that. It's super lightweight. It's a lot lighter than the Cordura packs that I've had in the past, especially the 511s. I mean, they're a 1050 pack. But those Rush Series packs, they get to be beasts and they're so thick and heavy. But so anyhow, so again, you got more multi here and you got a, uh, several different areas for uh, attachments. Um, you got your side uh, compression straps here and here. You got your side pouch on this side. You got a side pouch on this side. And then you have one front panel up here, which I'll, what I'll do is I'll disconnect these. Let's see, pull back my fancy table here for a second so you guys can get a better view of it. You open this up. I'm gonna have a bunch of junk falling out, I'm sure of it. But uh, I have a bunch of paracord. I just threw a bunch of things in here uh, just to give you guys an idea. These are the extra straps that the pack comes with. These straps here are meant to be able to, to attach to a uh, to the outside of the pack to carry your bow. Now you'll notice too these these are all aluminum. This is aluminum right here. Now the buckle's plastic. It connects together really well, positive. But these are aluminum, and they they're meant to connect within the the, the molly inside there. So and then you got a couple little pockets in here, you know, for the uh, light sticks, some admin. I got a little compass here and stuff like that. Um, um, some stickers, some chewing gum, and things of that nature. Then they give you this little pouch that's actually on the inside of it. You see this here? It's on the top of it. And it's a little pouch too. And you can, I got fire starter stuff material inside there. 
So that's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat pouch, holds really well. Now your middle pouch, so that was the front pouch right here that we just looked at. That was this one right here. That's this one. Put these zippers down here. Okay, now we got the middle pouch right here. This is pretty nice too, pretty darn roomy. And the middle pouch, it's coming all the way down. See my hand down here, the wiggle part? That's where the pouch is coming down into. And I got some tape, I got some gloves and such like that inside there, so nothing major. And then again, there's another pouch on the inside. You see that? There's this pouch right here. Zip this open, I got some uh, Marine Corps vitamins, ibuprofen, some batteries, uh, water purification, and uh, so on. But uh, again, and this one's attached. This one's attached in here. But it's nice size. I mean, th it's not too bad. If you look at it, let's get the tape measure out here. So you're looking at a, a nine inch by five inch pack, or a pouch right here, a nine inch by five inch pouch. So that's really good. And again, it goes down real deep. You know, my hand's all the way down in here. You see that, so we'll zip that up. Now, I guess one other thing, and I mentioned about two things that might be kind of off with this pack. One of the other things that I mentioned in the last video, I mentioned again here, is the fact that this upper pack, this the upper pouch right here, this is the zipper for it. It's not very big to get in there. Now it looks big, but it's really not. It's only about nine by nine. And um, it, it makes kind of tough for loading things in and out and stuff like that. But to give you an idea what you can load in this thing, I got a full water Nalgene with a GSI stainless steel mug. A uh, bunch of uh, broken down MRE stuff, as well as the condiments and some extra spoons. Uh, fire starter kit. It's just a little $1 pencil pouch from uh, Walmart. I fill it up. I got one of those little uh, Esbit stoves and uh, some tinder, match, ferro rod, lighter. But uh, I buy these for a buck at Walmart and spray them down with some waterproofing. And I'll spray the outside of it three or four times to give it a waterproof coating and then you're good to go. So, I picked these up. These were pretty good. They were on sale, and it uh, looks like it leaked or something like that at one time. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyhow, um, it's a first aid pouch. I got it at uh, Fred Meyer. They had them on sale a while back by Lifeline. But, uh, pretty neat, like 12 or 15 bucks, but they're semi-rigid, so it keeps its body. But the other cool thing is, is I was able to add stuff to it. So, I even got a small peroxide bottle in here, too, and everything. So it works out good. Um, seal bag with a uh, bail fong handheld with extra battery. Whole pouch of uh, backpackers and mountain house foods inside here for about three or four days. Can't go home without it. Can't leave home without it. Toilet paper. Uh, a good old, good old poncho. Really nice one. Not militarized or anything, but really nice brass grommets and everything like that. Nice good sized poncho. Uh, let's see here what else. So, oh, bail fung antenna. Got to have the antenna. Nice flexible one. It's about uh, 15, 16 inches long. And what else we got down in here? Okay. Um, oh, these things are pretty cool too. These uh, bivvies, these solo skate bivvies, they're not that bad. I mean, they're, you're not, if you're over six foot, you're going to feel pretty cramped in this. I'm 5'11, 5'10 and a half, 5'11. And they're tight, you know, shoulder-wise and stuff like that. But you know what? You can get by a couple of days easily with this thing. And they're warm. And they hold up well, too. So, And then I've got a bag here with a bunch of extra. An old Marine Corps uh, Willie Peter bag I think I've had for the last 30 years. And a uh, bunch of some, some extra clothing, socks and such. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to get to, that's why I was trying to unload this as well, is hopefully we can get this on the video, is right in here... You see this right here with the zipper. Watch. comes out. This is your hydration bag. This little bag here is what you put your hydration bottle in. You zip it open. You slide it inside there. It holds up to three liters, which is really cool. And then there's these two little pouches, these two little holes right here. There's this one here and that one there. And as you can see, there's red. These little red hooks right there and there. That's what your bladder will hang up to. So your bladder connects to these little red hooks, and then your hose, your hydration line, comes out one of these. Really, really cool. And then it goes right through here. See? Comes right through that. I mean, you didn't even notice that before, did you? So it's really sharp. And then there's a pocket way down in here. You can see that right there. See that right there? 
Where's my little antenna? That right there, that pocket right there. That's the pocket that you could put this in. So you got this hanging loose, you put your hydration in it, and then you slide it inside that pocket and that'll help keep it out of the way of the rest of your gear. And then you can stow it away. So let's flip this flap over, there we go. So you see how it went inside there like that. So really nice, but uh, a really good pack overall for that. Now, we're going to go to the suspension system. Let me put something back in here again so we can at least kind of show this off a little bit better while we're doing this suspension system. So here's the load lifters, really nice adjustable load lifters. So that's going to suit you well. The horse collar on this thing, really comfortable. This does not bite into your neck. You know, some packs, they're really close to each other and they start digging into your neck like that. This does not cause that issue at all. I have not had that problem with this pack. So let's flip these over a little bit. And as you can see, it's got a really nice breathable mesh on here. It's a really nice breathable mesh. Now they're not very thick, but they're really pliable. And for, for what they are, they're comfortable. They're, sometimes you, you got that happy medium where they're too wide or they're too thick and they get too stiff. Badlands did an awesome job setting this all up where there's this nice happy medium with it and I'm pleased. I'm quite pleased with it. You got a couple little, you got a little loop right here and some loops right here to hang stuff on. But getting to the suspension system, that's what you're looking at. You, see, you can see the Badlands logo inside here. Well, then you can see that wire going across. Well, that's the wire that's supporting the backpack itself. And that's that air, air gap that's in there. And you can see that, see? That's that air gap that goes through here. So the pack is actually curved like this. And then the... the the mesh is like that, so your back is over here and it pushes against you. Really cool, really cool stuff. So, getting to these side packs here, like on this side here, which I thought was pretty cool, as you look at these side packs, you know, I got a nice little logo here, Badlands, again, really nice. I just put these in here just so you, I can show you guys. For guys that want to use this as like a bug out bag or even a daily driver bag, and, you, and maybe some of you guys carry like an SBR, a short barrel rifle, or even an AR pistol style or something. Or if you just want to hit the range, you want to go out with your buddies and, and go on and hit the range, or you want to take this hunting. Well, you can do some small game hunting or something like that. You fit, I got three AR mags in here. Now, you saw the pack, it was full before I pulled these out. So the pack had that stuff in there, and I still had room to put more things in. But I got three AR mags in this. You know, granted, they're full or anything, I just did this for the demonstration purpose to show you that these three mags, you can fit these three in here. I can fill, still fit my hand inside here and zip it up. Matter of fact, um, here's my bail phone. This is a regular bail phone radio with two batteries in it. So I got a bail phone, two batteries, and I can zip that shut. And you'll notice right here, see the zipper? This little piece of Hypalon? The Hypalon actually, it goes into the Hypalon and tucks in so it doesn't bounce around or anything. Again, a neat little, you know, attention to detail by Badlands. But anyhow, so there it is. It's three mags and a Baofeng handheld uh, ham radio with two batteries in a seal bag. On this side here, I just stowed a bunch of stuff inside here again to show you size, quality, and such. But another seal bag. I got a little Leatherman, Gerber Leatherman tool. Bandana. And three Glock 19 mags. Five total Glock 19 mags and I still had plenty of room inside there so the pack is deceivingly large for what you're getting and when you first look at it you're thinking to yourself I don't know you know it doesn't seem like it's that big Chad I don't think it's worth the 200 and some bucks that you spent well you know surprisingly you can fit a lot of stuff in this little bad boy and I was very pleased with my findings when I got it because again I could not find a review online that really talked about these packs that much. It really generated more towards the line of like their hunting line, the actual camouflaged hunting backpacks, which didn't do me much good because that's not what I wanted. But once I got into this, once I got into this, this boss, I saw the pictures and I thought, you know what, let me look it up, I'll buy it. And worst case scenario is if I don't like it for 30 days, I can return it. But I'm not returning this thing, I like it. It's very comfortable, very durable. The pack itself is, 
extremely lightweight considering the type of durability you're getting. Um, we're looking at the pack itself is just over three and a half pounds. Uh, let's see here. Did I cover everything? Um, the wire, the high pylon reinforcements, self-sealing waterproof zipples, zippers. Molly compatible, uh, the extra straps for the bow, and uh, let me see here, what else, you know, uh, Serengeti is the color of this one, it comes in a brown with black, but this is called Serengeti, and um, yeah, like I said, I'm really pleased with it, I am really pleased, well, these are Grimlocks again, again, this is an add-on, I didn't, I put those on myself, but the clips too, you know, these, these nice little clips, you hear that? That's a positive lock. That is a positive lock, and there's no wiggle. There's there's no wiggle to that at all. The pack's full now, once again, and there's no wiggle. There's nothing given away with those buckles. So whatever the company that made these buckles, I'm sure they're not Badland proprietary. I'm sure there's a company out that makes buckles for all the types of companies. But oh, yeah, here. Here's the other thing. I almost forgot to tell you. So you got this too on the bottom. So again, you got these buckles back here. That you can turn around and you can strap your backpack or your uh, your jacket or a sleeping bag on or something like that. So you got plenty of room. And these are bunched up. And this is what I don't have on my little chest uh, thing. These little elastic little keepers here. But um, but anyhow, yeah, really nice. You know, wire frame comes all the way around. This is all wire right here. Comes all the way around. It crosses in. Wire comes down. Comes around back here. And crosses in as you can see it's upside down now but you can see that right where the bad lines logo is at so but so anyhow uh sorry if i got a little bit long-winded on this but i thought i'd share this with you uh, again this is my first backpack review so i've i've never done one before and i'm just starting to learn about all this kind of thing so let's just adjust this again but uh but otherwise yeah uh well thanks for stopping by thanks for looking at the channel there's a couple other videos on here i just threw in there with me and my little guy doing some knives and such that's what I do on the side. I make a uh, hunting and a bush bushcraft style knife with the ferro rods. So you can check that out. I got a Facebook page. It's probably on this link down there someplace. But um, otherwise, thanks. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for the time. And uh, you guys take it easy. Have a good winter. Have a good Christmas. Uh, this is 2016. It's uh, Halloween today, actually. So happy Halloween. And um, everybody take it easy. See you around. Bye.